we don't know. So the plan for today, we are playing. Uh, we are playing Morrowind. This is our completely random character, as in. We did not really choose the race, the class. We didn't choose much about her. Oh, and so, always open. Yes, this is fine. This is okay. And so we ended up with a very pretty Khajiit. Um, she's a Khajiit. Well, almost rat, which is really a Khajiit. Um, her class is Succubus. She was raised by cultist under the sign of the lover. And for some reason, she went to the mainland. We are now a whole level two. It's a miracle that we got there. Simply put, oh, hang on, chat. I want to see the chat. Like that, thank you. Uh, so we got to level two last week. Uh, it's been a real struggle, which <laughs> the struggle is very least. Um, uh, yes, the multi-mark error is really not uh, a problem. It's because I have multi-mark install, I assume. Um, but I don't, I don't need it. Uh, that's fine. I can't remember if 4NM comes with its own overhaul of mark and recall. I'm pretty sure it is. But um, we're not at the point we don't know the spell. We're not going to be able to cast it. So I just need to remember to disable it you know, when I get started. But I keep forgetting. Um, let me catch up with your questions, guys. The mass uploaded on YouTube ended up as a Jenga, by the way. I, sorry, I removed the Togam episode, but yes, I decided to put the, the Zinja episodes because we're playing her and so everything will be there. So I'm sorry, it looked messy on the, on the YouTube page. It will clear out as more videos appear. Oakspire, hello, you have a question. My Telvani Necromancer, are so many videos on the planet is private because it's pre-recorded? Yes, that, that's exactly what's happening. I am recording them as fast as I can. Like, I've been doing this since we did the Carowin character during the live stream. So, I think I'm in 30 episodes or so. Um... So basically that's the character when I'm not streaming, that's the character I'm playing, recording, so that I can upload it all and then and then kind of be done with it. Not that I want to be done with the character, but then I can focus on a different character. It's always problematic for me to to well with permadeath. <laughs> with permadeath, I kill my character so quickly that we have one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight characters every week or a couple of weeks. Uh, but when we do a role-playing uh, let's play, if I have multiple characters in mind, I can't, I kind of forget the, the rules that we set up for the character. And, uh, and so I need to be focusing on one character at a time. Don't worry about me. I'm just trying to untangle my headphones. So that's why I am doing Zinja in no in the live stream when I'm recording it's Carowin chat is not visible above my head. Thank you, Prof. Chat, show yourself. There we go. Um, and the chat is here. And I think we will be good. Thank you. Thank you so much for the heads up. Um, so yes, I don't want to have multiple characters. So that's why I'm focusing on Carowin and Zinja. And I, I yeah, that's what I want to do. So essentially I managed, I have recorded more episodes and I could, I could upload four episodes a week on YouTube for a single character, but it doesn't feel like a nice face. So that's why it is. That was a long answer to a very simple question. I'm sorry. Um, I saw a question about OpenMW uh, neutral play. This is not OpenMW. Uh, this is uh, Morrowind XA with MWSE MGE. Um, as you can see, that's why we have white well, shows right here. Actually, it's right there. Um, a bunch of very important mods are not compatible with OpenMW at this point. 
you're gonna see my frame rate and you're gonna think, well, maybe you should think about OpenMW, yes, maybe, but too many mods. And it's my fault, I can't, I can't, on this one, I think I have like 200 mods or so. Um, I can't tell you, but I think it's about that. Uh, and this is, this is a small mod list. I guess I don't have the compute the computer that matches my Morrowind ambitions. That's or maybe the computer that matches my Morrowind ambitions doesn't exist yet. That's also a very very possible thing. <laughs> Skink raised by cultists. No, that's not what we call this sort of slave that you summon. Um, that's why we started with a cultist dagger that has been very useful so far. Uh, detailed, you just returned from voting? Yes, we have the European elections, don't we? Sikora, hello, welcome on in. Playing multiple characters can be very confusing, yes. Only 200 mods, that's the lightest possible. I, I keep thinking maybe I should do a clean vanilla install. That would be a special challenge. I'll tell you the truth, I don't know that I am still able to enjoy Morrowind without mods. And, and, and as I say it, it makes me very, very sad because I love Morrowind. I thought I, I thought I fixed this. I love Morrowind, but I realize Morrowind is just not enough for me anymore. Apparently, maybe not. Maybe if I played vanilla, I would, I would sort of go back to the roots and, um, and enjoy it, enjoy it again. Yes, well, you're looking at me funny. No, are you broken? Am I broken because I'm talking about playing without mods? No, that Morrowind is not enough for you. Morrowind is, Morrowind is not enough for me. I need more. It's true. It's because I also need you. Mm -hmm. And coffee. Okay, then, then it's enough. Did you know they make... They have made Morrowind 2. Mm. Morrowind 2 wouldn't be good. Morrowind 3? Yeah, that would be Skyrim, I yep. guess. There's dragons. Um, my apologies. I will really wanted to contribute to the Morrowind conversation. Shall we shift the conversation to Danai Bot and the next update? I um. love <laughs> you too. <laughs> There we go. Uh, let me catch up with you guys. Mm. Da -da -da. Vanilla is fine for the first couple 10 hours because until then it's not very important that van vanilla is utterly broken. It. There are still a bunch of people, including modders, that play the game vanilla. Like they, They've made mods and they play the game without mods. I just really, really enjoy it. I love modding, I love choosing the mods, I love coming up with a character and then tailoring a mod list for that character. And, and it could be that I don't have the willpower, brain power to, to roleplay, but I can't really open the alchemy menu, the, the basic one, and say, and roleplay brewing potion, I just go Spam, 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 like I'm clicking faster than I can say spam, but you know, I just mass produce potion. I'm not role playing an alchemist, I'm just mass producing potions. However, if I have a mod where I am grinding the ingredients that it takes forever and I go, come on, how long do I need to grind you into a fine powder? You know, th that for me really increases my role playing experience. I can't, I can't do it all in my head. Also, it would probably be less fun for you to watch. So so there's that. <gasps> a heavily Morrowind, a uh, heavily modded install of Morrowind is 2.0. Yes, I think I think we can say that. Um, some people, and I'm not even saying me, but some people have their Morrowind modded to the extent that it's it's like a whole new game. Take Starwind. Starwind is Morrowind, but in the stars, <laughs> inspired by. Um, I was gonna say Star Trek, which would be like a big oopsie, by Star Wars. Here we go. It is. Um, and the best part is we each get, get the Morrowind 2.0 that we want, which is brilliant. 
gorgeous Morrowind partner coffee in that order is that that's what I said that doesn't feel right coffee ought to be a bit higher than that it's okay it's got music you didn't hear no I hear oh you hear you choose to ignore yeah that's wise is the music too loud I can um, I can tweak that All right, I've reduced it. So we'll see. Thanks. Okay, shall we um, shall we play the game? Easy, you saying the customization of modding is too powerful when you can go to an ice cream place, you choose your flavors, you don't let the seller choose it for you, right? Right, I guess. <laughs> All right, so here's what's happening with uh, with Zinja. She traveled to Old Ebonheart. Uh, we helped a Khajiit, a fellow Khajiit get there. This is Grim, he's been our companion since day one. We have matched outfits, it's cute. I'm not sure we should keep doing that, but that's just the way it is. When we arrived in Old Ebonheart, um, we tried to join the Guild of Mages, but they don't want us because our willpower is abysmal apparently which is a shame because we are more suited for magic uh, than anything else so we joined the thieves guild and even though we're a khajiit like we have a little bit of sneak but it's not amazing like we, we're not a great thief there we go long story short we're a terrible thief but we've done a couple of missions for them and now we are to go out of town, find a tomb, and find a thing in a tomb. Find a thing in a tomb, that's what we're doing. We want to go to Saldro Ancestral Tomb. And we need to go there quickly to find a treasure. We do have the directions. So I'm going to take the road south from Old Ebonheart until I reach Dondrill. At which point I will consult my journal again and see where I have to go. And I want to go, but I need to lighten my load. But I already did that, didn't I? I guess I did that. We're very sexy. And uh, let me see, I should have... Oh, I don't have my quick load set up. Is that because I only have one outfit? I guess that's what it is. I only have one outfit. Hey. Yeah, we're we'll leave it. We'll live in. The Mage Guild, they they will regret not having us one day at some point. Okay. Can we so my load is lightened, that is good. I think it's grim, that's completely overburdened almost carrying ingredients i don't i don't have a place to stay is there a room i could rent and hopefully place things in the room yes on the second floor thank you Why am I so slow? I'm not even sneaking. Why am I? Why? Uh, because I'm not even running. Now I'm running. You you can tell, right? <laughs> you can tell by how much faster I am. Oh, I have an updated 4NM. Oh well. I can't even put things in the chest. That is dumb. But I think I will nonetheless. Okay, later. Will I take revenge on the guild for not accepting me? I could. Uh, but how do I take revenge? Do I finally join and take control of the guild? Do I 
mesmerized the guild leader to make him do my bidding until he probably dies defending me. I'm not sure. Mmm, coffee. Okay. Uh, I don't really need to rest. What I don't... Hello? Did you follow me there? I helped you with that. I did. You want to train me? You won't train me. I don't know why you followed me. It's weird. You know what I don't have? I have three restore health. That's it. And I do not know how to heal myself. My restoration, mind you, is... Abysmal, like most of my stats. I guess I will have to rely on resting to heal up. That is not problematic Our doors are always at all. I can't foresee any sort of problem there. We'll be fine. Punch them? Is that... No, I don't think... If I, if I am to take revenge on anyone, I don't think it would be by punching. If anything, clawing them, um, because our, our Khajiit has claws, but it, it doesn't feel very... I was going to say sophisticated. I don't know that this character is sophisticated, mind you. I mean, she's such a weird character, because we did a full random with her. Um, I thought I pressed. I was waiting for... There we go. Because we did a full random character creation, she's a complete mess, let's be honest. I don't I don't have her background story in mind. We don't really have a personality either. We like pretty, but I think it's more a me thing than my character thing. Alright, let's leave town. I am not new new. I've been here for a couple of days. Interesting seam on the floor. And that would be the south road. This is still me running. This is gonna be a long hike. Let me tell you, a very long hike. Hello, Fentus. And now I'm leaving the city and I have nothing to declare. Thank you very much. Oh, hang on. Vul. South of here. I must be going. So well, I am going before you. All right, South Road. How do I fight? I fight with my dinky little dagger. I do have a healing spell, but the odds of casting it... Let's just say, they are not great. I have my Night Eye on command. I wish the spell lasted a little bit longer, but never mind. Is my Seduce power ready again? It's not. Otherwise, I would have seduced a guard and hoped that this time it follows me properly and, you know, defends me properly. So, if I don't fight with my dingy little dagger, I let Grim fight for me. He's not great either. I can't absorb health for reasons of not enough magicka. I can try to calm creatures. That might work, actually. And I have careful whispers that always works except it hasn't always worked or no way guys all this time i was trying to cast charming touch spending all my magicka on it when i could have used this one that cost no magicka at all i'm listening like so I i'm a bit Disappointed. <laughs> oh well. 
Uh, I will not try to admire the guard because if I fail, I'm just too worried that they're just going to start attacking me. So we're not going to do that. Dondril and Vol, that's where we're going. No, I am not fast traveling at this time. Unfortunately, fast traveling is something that I have. I have a mod for it and it's really cool. You click on the road sign. You decide if you want to travel recklessly or cautiously, very much like in Daggerfall. And, um, and that is good. When you travel, uh, it lowers your health, your fatigue, you can catch disease, you can lose money, um, you can improve some skills also. So it's fine, I do find it uh, rather balanced. However, I don't want to use it unless I have already traveled to that location. That's a mushroom. And since we've never been here, We are traveling, we are walking. Is this still the road or am I already off the road? This is the road. I think I've seen a fire. And who says fire might be saying bandits. If this was Bartonfell, I would say Ashlanders, but I don't think there's any this close to Old Ebonheart. I did I imagine the fire? Let's go up a little bit, where I can uh, I can see a bit better. So there's a fire. There's a building here, but for the time being, I am really going to stick to the road. Uh oh, is that another sign? Okay. You can't fast travel to this day. You blame Morrowind for this, as in you can't stand it when playing a game. And you see, like I, I don't, for me, fast travel in Skyrim really ruins it for me because I don't have the willpower to resist. And, and so playing Skyrim is clicking to a place on the map, fight, 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 click on a place on the map, fight, 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 follow a quest marker and that's it. But I feel that with this mod, where especially with my role where I need to have traveled the road already, if I've already traveled the road once and I know I have bought anything that was on the road, I have picked up every ingredient I wanted to pick up on the road, then I feel it's fair. It literally just saves time, it doesn't take away gameplay. Even though enemies do respawn, it could it be that we're reaching a... Yeah, so is that already Vol or Dondil? We'll find out very soon. If, when, if the game crashes, please remind me, if I don't think of it, to download and update the latest version of 4NM. Uh, Axe pushed an update last week this week or yeah this week uh, that includes the loot mania the loot mania um, gameplay mechanic that he introduced but also increases the speed just a little bit we could use that we really really could We're just chilling along the road.
Welcome to Don't Drill. You hate fast travel in Skyrim because time passes. Ever heard of instant teleportation by Mage Hits City Game? I do prefer the guild guide. And uh, I mean, Skyrim natively doesn't have anything like hunger, tiredness, and things, so who cares if time passes? This is not even like Daggerfall, where you have a limited amount of time to do your quest. Hello, Indoril Guard. You are an Indoril Guard. Congratulations. So, do you enforce Imperial Law? It says don't steal. Why, why is it the first thing that he tells me? Anything happening here? Nathala Rendaro. She's looking for someone to cover a delivery for bulls at the nest while she's recovering from an injury. Is that around here? I mean, we could do that, maybe. At least we can hear, hear her out. Saint Mary's the Peacemaker is the patron of farmers and laborers. Really not interested in that. If I'm looking for a place in Dondrill or the local area, here in the village, the headman lives in a watchtower above the craftsman hall that overlooks the marketplace. Not much else around here but farmer shacks and fields. What else do you expect to find in a tiny village? Well, I'm I'm expecting to find Nathala Rendaro somewhere. Citizen. Hello, Dolmin. Do you know Ranthala? You do not. Sunderscar. It's been a pretty dangerous place as of late. It used to be a manageable route for travelers, but in recent years, animal attacks have become more numerous along the road. Better to avoid it altogether and take a different route into Eastern Morrowind. I'll um, keep that. Why, why? I'm worried. It tell, it's talking to me about vampirism, cure, and then there's a get cured, get disease cured at the temple. But are you telling me this just like that because you're very disease cons conscientious or, or I should worry? You, 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 you. I, I do worry a little bit. Is it a coincidence that he's take, talking to me about a cure for vampirism and getting a cure? I do not have a disease that I can tell, but uh, if I somehow caught the disease for vampirism, I can't think of when I would have done that though. We'll see. Bogdan, what do I do for a living? I teach. I teach French. So, I don't believe I've seen you in Dondrill. I might be interested in doing a delivery to Ilvi Mine. It depends how far it is. I do the occasional job for Bull's Novel, the proprietor of the Undernest Inn. I told Bull to deliver some of his mats, mats eh, to Ilvi Mine, but then he offered me a taste of the merchandise and may have overindulged. Apparently, I fell over on the way down. Anyway, it's not a dangerous trip, but I don't think I can make it on a sprained ankle. You can keep the payment on delivery, I just need some time to recover. Still interested? Sure. I hope it's not too far. Thank you. Take this to the Ilvi Mine Foreman. To get to the mine, take the road east. I think I'm supposed to go south. East out of Dondrill and follow it towards on Malexia. After a short distance, there will be a tomb on the right. Keep following the road towards on Malexia. And the next time the road forks, the mine will be on your right. Easy. Is it? Reptiloid, hello, welcome on in. I am doing good, thank you. Enjoying uh, Morrowind. We finally got out of Old Ebonheart. And we made it to the next settlement. Without any problem, because there was no fight at all. <laughs> I'm French. All right. I want to do the delivery to the mine. So we're going to take the road east, which would be this way. She said it's not too far. I hope that's true. And then we'll resume, resume our trip to uh, the tomb and bowl. 
Gosh, we are slow. I'm not even particularly overburdened. Okay. Gwen, my friend, my good, good friend, you can have my Telvani bug mask and my special booze. Don't drink it, okay? Tomb on the right. We follow the road until there's a tomb on the right. This is me running, by the way, if you were. A quick list of reasons why one should learn French. The primary, the, the, there's a couple of reasons why people learn French. It could be because they want to travel to France. Um, People will tell you that with French you can travel to France, you can go to the Caribbean, you can go to Africa, and that's not untrue. There are a number of countries where French is spoken, uh, but honestly, if you know English, the odds of finding somebody who speaks English are greater than the odds of finding of somebody who speaks French. That's not exactly a very strong selling point. Uh, I would say there might be professional reasons, but again, that would be quite specific. Um, if you work for a French company, shit. Who says that? Who wants to fight me? Is that is that you, Grim? You want to fight something? Grim is fighting something. A bat. Oh, but it's not even night time. You have it, Grim, or you need a hand? You have it. Well done, Grim. I was totally ready with my dagger though. Um, I would say the main argument is if for people who already have an interest in French culture um, or traveling to France, you know, do tourism, it's mostly for the culture. Typically my students, it's either because they just love culture and France uh, or because they want a challenge to learn something. But honestly, if you don't feel you have any interest in learning French, I am not going to sell it to you. The, the, the economical reason why you would want to learn French really are nothing compared to why you would want to learn English, for example. I am going east. I haven't seen a tomb, so I'm going to continue that way. Um. English won't get you far in France. Yes and no detail. I mean, um, if you're in Paris, it's more likely to, to be useful. Oh, I see the tomb. And I see a bunch of people. They're looking at me, but it doesn't look like they want to attack me. If you're in Paris, I have a number of students who who went to Paris and they said, well, you know, I wanted to speak French, but they spoke English to me. And they were pretty disappointed about that. Um, so I guess it depends where you go. Uh, I used to teach French in um, in high school, but now I am teaching freelance, not freelance on a platform, but kind of freelance anyway. This is mm, mm, still the it's not the road. This is the road. Okay, I'm continuing along the road. I think that might be the tomb that they were referring to. I'm a little worried it's getting dark. But apparently, my companion can handle bats, so we're fine. Yeah, you see, that's weird because they said a tomb to my right, didn't they? on the right. It's kind of on the right from where I was, but now it's on the left. But let's continue. Let's keep following the road. It's on the left. I, I got a feeling I might already be on the wrong path. You could have given me the name of the tomb. That would have been helpful. This is Rathrian tomb. 
which is not the tomb that the Thieves Guild is sending me to. Because I'm looking for a Saldro. We'll see. Um, Reptiloid, you're on a new PC and you're trying to figure out how to restore your Morrowind install without making your... Uh, I mean, the, the best... What I do when I transfer a save game from one Morrowind install to the next Morrowind install is install Morrowind, put right mash, and then right mash and put your save game in the save game folder. And then when you look at the save game in right mash, you have all the list of the plugins that the save game needs. Uh, so that that's a good like like a, a checkup list before you try to launch your save game make sure that all the all the mods that the save game knows and looks for look looks for are there that would be one thing to do it if your first install was an mo2 install then uh, it's easier to import export your mod list uh, if not then uh, what i said hey julien hello welcome on in The only one thing I admire about the French culture is their willingness to defecate in the Seine. Personally, it's never happened to me or to somebody that I know. So I don't think that's a thing. Um, however, and I think I know why you're saying that, uh, with the Olympic Games, let me, let me try to move on as I speak. With the Olympic Games, um, some of the, this will be a fight. Can I soul trap? No, I suck at it. Oh! Wow, that thing was fast. And I am dead. I didn't get one shot by the Nyx Hound, but two. Because I have 16 hit points and the Nyx Hound has 60. It's okay, I quick saved recently. Um and one of the one of the things that they have to do to make sure it is safe to swim in uh, La Seine uh, is to check for the pollution and particularly fecal matter is an issue now it's not so much because people shit in the river um it's uh it's not that it's it's almost worse than that um you, you have the you have the river and then you have the sewers and essentially what happens is when it rains a lot, the water overflows in the sewers and sort of washes through the floors, the sewers, and then comes back into the river. That's where the fecal matter comes in. Um, and so they're doing all kinds of things for that. And, and then it becomes a political thing. So I don't know, but that that's where the I suppose the origin of the story that the French are willing to shit in their river come from. So what they've done is they've, they're they building uh, large pools basically where the water can overflow when it rains so it doesn't go in the sewers anymore. Instead it goes directly to um, the water stations where it can be cleaned and then boom. So that's how it is. Your great grandpa was French. His name was Simon. That makes sense. That sounds like a very French name, though also English it could be. But did you did you learn any French from your grandpa? Reptiloid, you were running Morrowind Overhaul on your last install. Yes. Do you mean MGSO? But the installer presents you. It is MGSO then if that's the case um i it is true i would not recommend using mgso anymore but if you use it and you like it then go for it there are a couple of bugs and things but uh graphical things i remember the table was funny uh, but there are patches for that and if you're fine with it that's fine now if you're worried about remembering the exact options you picked 
I would say this is not too bad because say you pick the option for Valetis Trees and, and then you pick the option for Vert Tree, I think there were the T options, Morrowind will be looking for something called uh, Flora Bitter Coast Tree 01. And then regardless of the, the model that was assigned to it, as long as Morrowind find the Flora Bitter Coast Tree 01, it's going to be happy and it's not going to have a problem. So you're not going to have huge issues with the game looking for something and not finding it. There might be a couple of things, but not tremendously bad. I am not sure. Dondrill, Vol. Because as it is, I am going towards Vol, not towards the mine where I'm supposed to deliver the booze. It's okay, it's still... Oh, that was before the town. Okay, I get it. I get it. I thought I had quick saved after I reached the place. One big, big thing MGSO needed was merge object patch. Had a lot of conflict that would be resolved by that, which is an easy thing to do. Julien, you made the switch to MO2 and... How, how is it going? You wonder if another installer package like MGSO will happen again? I kind of doubt it. Um, I doubt it for a couple of reasons. First of all, to get all the perms would be tricky. Second, uh, even though Morrowind is an old game, we still get a lot of mods. And it's near, it's damn near impossible to get like a stable mod list. And I, I mean, okay, I'm a, an extreme case maybe, but there's always new thing coming, new things coming up, and uh, and so e even maintaining a mod list, a, a modding guide like I have, I, I would have to review it every other week at at least uh, to keep it up to date. And also, I think MGSO has gotten a lot of bad publicity, more or less deserved. I don't think anyone is willing to put up with that. And finally, I would argue that we don't really need it. Uh, we have things like Wabajack that are better automated. Um, it's still a work to, to build a Wabajack mod list and to maintain it but definitely less worse than creating an installer like MGSO. And you can see it with MGSO, if you use the installer, it installs a, a really old version of MGE, for example, uh, maybe even an old version of the Morrowind code patch as well. It's It becomes very quickly out... There we go. It becomes very quickly outdated, uh, including for uh, basic things. I wonder if 24 failed. Succeed. 24, yes, that's what I thought. Because this is a spell that always succeeds, even if I cast it, that theoretically always succeeds because it doesn't. Even if I cast it successfully, uh, it doesn't improve my skill. MO2 is convenient, they were a frustration in the process, but overall positive change. I, I do agree, um, it's definitely a rather steep learning curve, there's a lot of things, but... Hey Axe, I realized I haven't updated um, to the latest 4NM, so there's that that I need to do, and for the perks... I took the free perks. Uh, and I'm level 2, and I only had 3 perks so far. So I, I don't have available perks at level 2, apparently. Which is odd, I thought I would get perks with every level. And the speed is where optimization for intelligence, willpower, personality, luck. Agility, speed, that's what I want. 
anything in speed is going to cost me. Ah, not too dear. That's something that I can take when... I thought I had no perks available. Okay. Um, you have improved your concentration techniques, speed, speed dodge. Is that really what I want, though? Well, that is all I can get anyway. That is going to improve my overall speed, right? So I had one available, okay. This will change everything, let me tell you. Okay, Nathala, we talked to you before, I will take the job. Except my going east turned out to be the same as going south, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. My current speed is 213 at full uh, stamina. I do have a few things, not that many though. The rest I really want to keep. You just realized it was seven years since you downloaded that mod. At the time, I was looking for an experience close to vanilla, but with graphical facelift, there are probably better options nowadays. Really, a hundred percent. And I would argue that MGSO. I should keep. Sorry, I should keep on walking as I'm talking. I would argue that MGSO is not a close to vanilla graphic overhaul. What is this? Um, let's take a look. It's not, but it definitely had the convenience of the installer and you would get a, a really a graphic and sound overhaul in just a, a dozen clicks and you didn't have to try and understand. Is it okay if I hydrate with coffee? Easy. I hope it is. Uh, you didn't have to understand anything about modding to get that. So in that respect it was great and I've used it for a while and I really enjoyed it. Nowadays if you want a graphic overhaul that stays very close to uh, Mor Morrowind Vanilla, then I would say, I'm going to take a look at that. I would say you install Intelligent Textures, it's going to remain very close to Vanilla, but uh, Morrowind Enhanced Textures, what is it? Grim, there's a yet grub coming at me. I don't know where it is. I don't know what it is. This is what it is. That's one thing. One thing dead. And, and I stabbed it with my dagger, okay? I helped. A little bit. Grim did most of the work. Julien, you stop using texture mod to save memory, but you think cache textures is RAM now? I, I wouldn't know, you know, all the technical things, but I have been told on multiple occasions by Null Cascade um, that textures are not what are what is going to uh, hit your FPS um, anymore. It's more the number of objects that the game has to render. Loidina Tower. It feels like a fun place to explore. It also feels like a place you could die exploring. 
The spell effects are beautiful. They come with, uh, with, sorry, with 4NM. For example, Children of Morrowind, uh, MCA, Starfire's NPC addition, friends and foes are going to hit your FPS. Uh, repopulated Morrowind also, um, and MWSE NPCs. Though it's through, I don't know. Okay, let's see. Okay, this part is empty. It's a place where we could rest if we wanted to. We get some eggs and why not? Do we dare explore the lower level? We do. What is this place though? Hello? Anybody? Anybody home? There's somebody home. You do it. He's gonna die though. Arrows, oh no. <laughs> Arrows are gonna kill me. Alright, I'm going to I'm going to quit and and install uh, the latest version of 4NM. I forgot to do it before and um, and I sure would have. It's not gonna take a lot of time. Gameplay overhaul. Update mod manager. Oh, I should close. By mash. You are more concerned about overflow crashes than frame rate. I don't think I don't think that's something you should worry about uh, anymore. The old velocity. It looks very scary too. Um, so we said download install for an M ESP English uh, patches. I don't think we have new patches there. Merge is going to take a minute. You haven't lived. Till you have a 20 NPC strong gangbang, <laughs> your FPS in Balmora. 20, 20 companions. I always like to have companions, but 20 feels a lot. I didn't even do um, an army of vampires back when I was playing with a. Uh, we're done? We're done. Back when I was playing with a uh, Vampire Embrace, you know, the, the, the screenshot, the main screenshot for Vampire Embrace is the one where. Uh, da da da, M locks through the thing. Oh, you mean the hostile marauders? Sorry, uh, these that was one feature of uh, MCA that I disabled. I didn't like that they would attack town. Don't care about the people. Don't care about the the guards. They would attack me. That's it. Just attack me in there and the guards. Now it's better, we have them modded to react to NPCs attacking you. But the guards didn't give a rat's ass about the bandits attacking me either. Uh, uh, I'm gonna have to rerun merge objects though. There. Yeah. You care about the loot. I care about the loot too. And that was my other problem with MCA. The loot was just vanilla. So that's why I ended up making friends and foes. So there would be different types of NPCs. They would fight differently. They would have loot that matched their classes. And I would have a chance of getting my hands on stuff that wouldn't show up very often. Otherwise, the loot is important. I agree. Uh, test three merge is running. Test three merge has run. That's good. Relaunching the game. The loot comes from the level list. If you have armor mods, you can get modded armor. Yes, but not 
uh, not a lot of mods would introduce their armor through level list. Uh, typically, they would put their armor in a shop or in the chest of a trader, as opposed to in the Morrowind list for armors and weapons. Uh, possibly because the Morrowind list for armors and weapons, they would have iron, steel, silver. Like they didn't, they don't have enough essentially. They don't have all the types of armor and all the types of weapon with all the types of material. Halava is the exception. And with Halava, you could also get a pair of pink Dwemer braces or fuchsia or turquoise if you preferred it. I forgot to disable uh, Multimark. We'll do that some other time. Okay, can we take on the skeleton? Because of wares, <laughs> because of wares that uh, somewhat randomizes the gear of creatures, skeletons may very well, even though you're level one, have some enchanted arrows. Not that I would need enchanted arrows to get killed. Aha! Yes, my speed going forward is now 340. That's right. That's going forward with full stamina and almost empty inventory. <laughs> so I'm not sure how to do this. Because I don't have... I do. But what we have in there is undead. And the undead, the skeletons in particular, don't give shit about poison. So my next best option is to... Grim has a little more hit points than me, but honestly, Grim is going to get, if not one shot, maybe two shots and he'll be dead. Can I possibly rush my enemy or... I mean, I see I have a scroll of invisibility. Don't I know invisibility? I do not. I do not. Graham, when I gave you the potions and stuff? Nope. It's an awful color. <laughs> Fine, I take it back. This way I was running. I was running so fast. I should have waited uh, behind the crate. What did I do? I should have waited behind the crate to make it closer to me. Like I can't take an arrow. Even at point blank it's not supposed to hurt as much but it kills me just the same. Come on, we can take on the skeleton. I don't want to risk sending Grim as a as a distraction. <laughs> we'll try that again. I was almost there and I don't know if you realized, I realized that I was not going to reach the skeleton in time to try and hit it. So I tried to hide behind Grim. Grim did not block the arrow, unfortunately. I still got the arrow, but he turned around to try and heal me. So that's, that's pretty noble of him considering I literally, this time for sure, tried to use him as a meat shield. Yeah, now I get one shot. And I don't have anything to... I don't have anything to block. Oh, there's an active block. There is an active block, isn't there? 
<laughs> that would be on the buttons. Perk menu, dash. Oh, I could try to dash and dodge. But then my stamina <clears throat> is gonna go down. I still have coffee, thank you. No, go ahead. It's gonna make a lot of noise and cover.